kids, this is Erin. We're just going to do a Good Friday craft of a colorful cross. It's just using a silhouette of a cross and a back colorful background to make a fun little Easter craft, to say anything else. Um, so all you need for this is some scissors, some tape, some colored pencils or crayons or markers, um, a white piece of paper, a darker piece of construction paper. You can actually use a lighter piece, but we're going to start with a dark piece. Um, preferably like black. I didn't have black, so I'm using a burgundy. So just a darker shade and a pen or something to draw lines with. So real quick, we're going to start with our white piece of paper. So I have color pencils that I'm using for mine. Um, you can use, I use these wooden color pencils. Um, I have all the bright colors that I love. You can use paint and paint brushes. You can use markers. You can use crayons. Whatever floats your boat to be able to color. So you just color it. It can be in stripes. It can be swirls. You can do random. You can, if you have little siblings, y'all could color it together. And I did like a mixture of a rainbow stripe and then just some random corners on mine. So it's just really colorful. All the co colors that remind me of Easter and bright colors for spring. So um, after you've colored this, just put it to the side real quick. And we're going to grab our darker sheet. So you're going to take yours and fold it in half, hamburger style, so just half. And then you'll take the free edge of your white piece of paper. It may be colored now. It's okay. Um, use the free edge to draw with your pen and draw a tall rectangle in the middle of your half sheet. So, and I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. If you're confused, just wait just a second and I'll show you what mine looks like. And then right beside that tall rectangle in the middle, you're going to draw two long rectangles. So two rectangles on both sides, one on each side of that original rectangle. It'll look something like this. So it'll look something like that. And then you'll just take your scissors and you'll just cut across that design. So you'll just cut, 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 cut each side, each way. This way. And lastly, this way. So you should have something that looks like a plus sign or a cross of some sort that you should be able to look through. So you're going to take that colorful one that you just started. Can y'all see the bee buzzing around me? It's right beside me. <laughs> but I'm going to take my colorful piece of paper and I'm just going to put it right on top. So I'm just going to lay it right on top so you can see the cross through it. I'm going to take just a small, just a square piece of tape or a rectangle piece of tape about that size and just stick one on each side. So you're, you're taping that white colored paper to once you've color, colored it to that darker sheet. So four pieces of tape. You could do corners if you want instead of sides, it doesn't really matter. Um, and you'll have a colorful cross left over. Um, you might could put this on near a window and it could shine through to make it a little bright on Easter. Um, and if you have a lighter piece of paper that you're putting as the top silhouette, you can just put, you could use it to write here, I'll write Happy Easter with mine so you could see it. So just some Easter decorations and a fun Easter craft as y'all talk about Good Friday today. So here's mine with the end and the Happy Easter written on it. Happy Good Friday!